This lesson will show how to determine the generating function for the sequence one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on using the method of differencing. To begin, notice the sequence of first differences is constant. Three minus one is two, five minus three is two, seven minus five is two, nine minus seven is two, and so on. We know how to find a generating function for any constant sequence, which is why the technique of differencing is a good choice here. We begin by denoting the generating series for the given sequence by a, which gives us a equals one plus three x plus five x squared plus seven x cubed plus nine x to the fourth plus dot dot dot. Now looking at the bottom of the screen, if we begin with the given sequence and subtract the sequence zero, one, three, five, seven, dot, 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 term by term, notice we get the sequence one comma two, 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 and so on. Because this difference resembles the constant sequence of twos, again, this verifies the technique of differencing is a good choice. Also notice, if we know the generating series for one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on, the generating series for zero, one, three, five, seven, and so on is equal to x times a, or x times the generating series for the given sequence. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equation for a by x, which gives us x times a equals, on the right, x times one is x. We no longer have a constant term, and therefore we can place a zero in the constant position. Notice how we've shifted, or we can shift our product right, which is why this is called the multiply shift and subtract method. And then we have plus x times three x, which gives us plus three x squared. And then we have plus x times five x squared, which gives us plus five x cubed, and so on. Next, we subtract the two equations, on the left, a minus x a can be factored. It factors to the quantity one minus x times a. Notice on the right when we subtract, we get the expected generating series for the sequence one, two, 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 and so on. Or more specifically, subtracting, we have one minus zero, which is one, plus three x minus x, which is two x, plus five x squared minus three x squared, which is two x squared, and so on. And now focusing on the right side of the equation, we want to ignore the one for a moment and focus on the part of the series, two x plus two x squared plus two x cubed plus two x to the fourth and so on. You need to be careful here. This is not the generating series for the constant sequence of twos. Notice how there's no constant term here. Again, ignoring the one for a moment. This would be the generating series for the sequence zero comma two, 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 and so on. From here, looking at the table, if we know the generating function for the constant sequence of twos is two divided by the quantity one minus x, we can multiply this function by x to get the generating function for zero comma two, 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 which we can verify here by looking at the generating series. So now that we know this, we can perform a substitution for everything on the right side of the equation except the one. This gives us the equation, the quantity one minus x times a equals one plus 2x divided by the quantity one minus x. And now to find the generating function for the given sequence, we solve for a. For the next step, we multiply both sides of the equation by one divided by the quantity one minus x. On the right, we distribute, which gives us one divided by the quantity one minus x plus two x divided by the square of the quantity one minus x, which if we want to, we can obtain a common denominator and add the two fractions, which I've shown here in blue which gives us a generating function of the quantity one plus x divided by the square of the quantity one minus x. I hope you found this helpful.